guys, my name is Nick. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing another Sony Vegas tutorial. Uh, the first one that I made wasn't really so great, so today I'm trying to do something a little bit different. Today we're going to be looking at how to speed ramp. Uh, so if you've ever watched a video by Matt Coma or Sam Coulter, they do like to use uh, speed ramping transitions. Speed ramping is what you saw at the beginning of this video. That's what we're going to be making today. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, jump into this. So here I have the th three clips I used in the beginning of the video. Uh, as you can see, they're all fairly different. Um, so we're going to speed ramp from this clip to this clip. And speed ramping is just a fancy way for saying you're speeding up the clip uh, to create a transition into this next one. So that allows for some cool things you can do with camera movement, like you can th you can pan the camera down really fast and then raise it up again in the next shot so it'll be really seamless. Uh, with this one, it's just some cool shots where uh, I throw this key, these keys up and once they come down, uh, we go straight into this, this shot where the, this camera is spinning and it looks pretty seamless, looks pretty nice. Um, what makes it even more seamless is if we slow this first clip down and the second clip down because it looks really cinematic uh, and it looks really cool. So how we're going to add uh, speed ramping to this is we're actually going to right click on this clip and we're going to add, we're going to go to insert remove envelope and we're going to click velocity. And you notice that it inserts this big green bar, not really big, but it's a green bar down here. Um, and if you hover this over this first little point that it makes here on the on the beginning of your clip It says velocity uh, at the start of at the start of your clip wherever it is on the timeline the velocity is 100% and that 100% basically signifies that your clip is playing at normal speed like this You notice in the player it plays at normal speed um, So what happens if you set this to uh, 50% Which is half speed it means it plays in slow motion so it's, it's slower now. And if you set this to maximum forward velocity, it means it's a thousand percent and it basically replays this over and over and over again because it's going so fast. Uh, it won't seamlessly show this in my video player because my computer isn't too great, but uh, if I can just kind of show you, notice it goes really fast. So we're gonna set this to 50% to get that cinematic look. Just like that. Um, and how we're gonna go into this next clip is we're gonna go to the very end of my first clip. So we're gonna go to this marker that I created here. And you'll notice that it shows the first keyframe of the next video, that's okay. We don't wanna worry about that too much. Go back 10 frames from the end of your first clip. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. We're gonna make a point here on the velocity line and you notice that another green dot appears much like the one at the start of your clip. Leave this dot as it is. This is just a anchoring point for the 50% that we got going on here so that it doesn't convert the whole thing to max velocity and makes it look really choppy and really bad. Next thing you want to do is you want to come to the very end of your clip once again and go back one, not one keyframe. Uh, just select, just create a point on the, velo on the velocity line by double clicking. Um, and set this endpoint to maximum forward velocity. You should note that uh, if you're not going 10 keyframes back, if you're going something where it's it's pretty close in, uh, say around here or so, I would set this to 300%, like so, and then set this to 50%. So that way you still get, it still goes fairly fast in the next clip, but we're gonna set this back to 10 frames. So we, our first clip is done and now we're going to do this on this clip but it's reversed. So we're going to have this this graph, this little line going down instead of up. And how we're going to do that is we're going to go to insert remove envelope again, insert velocity, and we're going to go to our first point that it creates for us. We're going to set this to its maximum forward velocity. And we're going to actually move forward 10 keyframes instead of back 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Double click on the line to create a point where the, where the video player marker is. And 
we're gonna set this point to 50% so right click on this green point and select 50% forward velocity to create that nice cinematic look just like that Uh, another thing we're going to do to make this a little bit more seamless is we're going to change the uh, the little hill that it makes here into something slightly different so it creates a smoother, faster look. How we're going to do that is we're going to right click on the velocity line on your first clip, right click and select slow fade. And what's, that's just going to smooth it out a little bit more and make it a little bit nicer. And we're going to do the same thing on this clip except we're gonna select fast fade and you notice that they are the inverses of each other and that basically just makes it look nice and smooth but yeah guys that's pretty much it for the speed ramping process uh, if you have a bunch of clips that you want to add speed ramping to that's really all you got to do uh, but if this video helped you out let me know leave a comment below don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button if you're feeling inclined to uh, watch those new uploads and uh, yeah guys I'll see you later peace Switching up the lanes, stepping out the flame by men. I was pulling on the reins, thinking about the same happening. I swear.